Oh, what's up guys? Today's deck tech, we are doing a Kim, the Soaring Wind. This is a token deck. And when I say token deck, I mean token deck. We can make mirror tokens, treasure tokens, rock tokens, 4-4 four, four beast tokens, like goblin tokens, insect tokens. We making tokens, bro. 1-1 one, one bird tokens, black rat tokens, doctor tokens. Bluebird Illusion Tokens, 3-1 Elemental Enchantment Tokens, Doctor Artifact Tokens, like, we making hella tokens. Squirrels, crabs, satyrs, humans, like, we making tokens, bro. So, getting into this deck, our commander here has flying. He is a 3-4. He's 2, 1 blue, 1 red, and 1 white. Whenever you create one or more tokens for the first time each turn, create a 1-1 one, one white bird creature token with flying. Now, notice this is for the first time each turn, not just your turn. So, there are some ways for us to make tokens on our opponent's turn as well. And then you can pay 3 a blue, a red, and a white, and creature tokens you control get double strike. So, we're going to be making tokens. Let's jump into this, right into the creatures. First creature in the deck is Brutoclad. He makes 2-1 blue mirror artifact creature tokens. And then, during your combat phase, when he makes the mirror token, you can then choose a token you control. If you do, each other token you control becomes a copy of that token. So, we can turn all our creatures into whichever one of our tokens that are on the board that we want. So those 1-1 one, one birds will become 2-1 mirrors. Or we can turn them all into 1-1 one, one birds. Who knows? Uh, Tago, whenever land enters the battlefield, you make a rock token. So it gives us free tokens that later on Brutoclad can turn into creatures. Uh, Krenko, Tin Street Kingpin, makes us some goblins equal to his power when he attacks. Locust God, probably one of the best token generators in the in the deck i was going to say in the format but it's definitely not in the format but the best one in the deck whenever you draw a card make a one one blue insect creature token flying haste you can pay two a blue and a red to draw a card discard a card and then when it dies return it to its owner's hand during the next end step uh daxos bless sun when another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies you gain one life this you know since we have a lot of creatures different types of creatures coming in it makes it good Goblin Extramancer, we do run a lot of instants and sorceries in this deck, so making them cost one less is never a bad thing. Souls Attendant, whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you gain one life. Life gain's always good. Adelana Prophecy, pay six and a blue, sacrifice it and draw three cards. And otherwise, it's a good turn one, kind of one, two, cheap blocker. Core Celebrant, whenever Core Celebrant or another creature enters your battle phase, or battlefield, you gain one life. Heliod, Sun Crown, another, whenever you gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature enchantment. So, with all the different ways we have to gain life in here, when creatures enter, and then all the creatures we're going to be making, this can make our creatures bigger, bigger, and bigger. Uh, Mad Ratter, when you draw your second card each turn, create two 1-1 one, one black rat creature tokens. And there's ways to set that off every turn. Uh, Rapacious Dragon creates two treasures with enters. Aviation Pioneer makes a 1-1 one, one color stop there when it enters. Hoarding Ogre, when it attacks, roll a d20. So this is one of the really good token makers helps us get the mana to make bigger stuff as long as you got good luck rolling a d20 uh, one to nine you make one treasure 10 to 19 you make two treasures and 20 you make three treasures uh murmuring mystic whenever you cast an instant or sorcery create a one one blue illusion like i said we're running a lot of instants and sorceries so the instance is ways we can make tokens on our opponent's turn and trigger our commander on other players turn as well as our own Scroll Thief, it lets us draw a card when it deals combat damage to a player. So getting some draw in there. Seder Nick Smith, uh, when it becomes untapped, you may pay three if you do make a 3-1 enchant uh, elemental enchantment creature token with haste onto the battlefield. It makes more tokens. 
Sharding Sphinx, whenever an artifact creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may create a 1-1 one, one blue Thopter. So, there's a handful of artifact creatures in the deck. This one, uh, Brutaclad, and there's the artifact tokens that this makes, the Aviator makes, and different ways to make artifact creatures. Core Cartographer helps us find the land. Baron, it, when he enters the battlefield, it returns to one other target creature or planeswalker to its owner's hand. The beginning of the end step, if you put a permanent into your hand from the battlefield, you get to draw a card. So just a way to reuse some of our token makers. A Johnny's Pride Mate, whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter. We have lots of ways to gain life. Uh, Beloved of the Sea, Calafi, Beloved of the Sea, its power is equal to our Devotion to Blue. Creatures and enchantments you control have spells your opponents cast to target. Cast to target, this permanent costs one more cast, so this helps protect our tokens. It's not exactly hexproof, but it helps protect our tokens. Specimen Collector, when it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one squirrel and a 0-3 crab, and then when it dies, create a token copy of a token you control. In a token deck, that's great. And then Anax, Harden in the Forge. Uh, when Anax or another non-token creature you control dies, make a 1-1 one, one Red Seder. And if it had four or greater power, create two of those tokens. So just another way to make more tokens. Now for the Planeswalker in the deck, we have Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. You can minus two it to put, create two 1-1 one, one Human Soldier tokens, minus three to gain five life, or Minus one it to up to two target creatures in control get plus two plus one until end of turn Generally, you're going to use it to make the two one one human tokens and then to give uh, Two creatures plus two plus one obviously and then it has escape for four and two white exile four the cards from a graveyard You may cast this card from a graveyard for its escape cost so we can reuse it throughout the game That's the only planeswalker for artifacts. We got Lang's library so we don't have to discard. Stoneforge Masterwork. Equip the creature gets plus one, plus one for each other creature type you control that shares a creature type with it. This is amazing. Amazing with Brutaclad. Because we can make all our tokens one type of token. So whichever creature this gets equipped into is going to get a crap ton of plus one, plus one. So... Good combo. The last artifact in this deck is Command Sphere. And yeah, I mean, it sack it and draw a card. Seems good. All right, enchantments in the deck. We got Omen of the Sea, Furnace of Wrath, because we want our, if a source would deal damage to a creature or player, it deals double that damage to that creature or player instead. So it helps us get more damage out. Feeder Visions, this card is great. It helps us draw an extra card every turn, so we get that second draw to trigger some of our cards. Um, and then if an opponent has four or more cards in their hand, Feeder Visions deals two damage to them, so that will get that chip damage as well. Sanctum of Calm Waters. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, you want to draw X cards, where X is the number of shrines you control. If you do, discard a card. Just another way to get that second draw, because we have some cards that say when you draw your second card, create token. Uh, Goblin War Drums, creatures you control have Menace. Menace is great. Banishing Light for some target removal. Improbable Alliance, here's another one of those cards. It says when you draw your second card, you turn create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy creature token. So that with Fever Visions or... Sanctum Calm Waters. We get that second draw every one of our turns. Uh, Madame's Prophecy. Scry 2. Choose the name of a card. When you cast that name, draw two cards. And then the last one, you get to look at the top card of each player's library. So, lets you scry, lets you draw, and lets you look at the top card of everyone's library. Dictate of the Twin Gods. Now, this card with Furnace of Wrath is insane the amount of damage we can put out with the two of these onto the battlefield is ridiculous okay ridiculous 
all one of the C's, because we're going to be drawing a lot of cards, and we can remove eight counters from this to make an 8-8 eight, eight blue Kraken creature token, which is good. Last enchantment is Induced Amnesia. When it enters the battlefield, target player exiles all cards in his or her hand face down and then draws that many cards. And then when this goes to the graveyard from the battlefield, the return the exile cards to owner's hand. All right, instance in the deck. Bone to Ash, counter target creature spell, draw a card. Anticipate. Revitalize, because we have a lot of cards that say well, we gain life. Is it Charm? Unexpected windfalls, additional cost to cast this card discard a card draw two cards create two treasure tokens make some tokens saw it coming we can play it for the foretell if anything or we can just pay three and counter something blue sun zenith draw x cards um and then shuffle this into tar to the owner's library great card return to dust more inch uh more removal syncopate chain to memory and then sorceries, we have solved the equation. Probably the best sorcery, the best sorcery that I can think of in blue. Mind Spring, draw X cards, sleep, tap all creatures. They don't untap during that player's untap step. Hard out evidence to make two tokens. See beyond, draw two cards and shuffle a card from your hand into your library. Roll reversal so we can give somebody one of our creatures or one of our 1-1 tokens, swap it with their token or creature, whatever, what have you. Wrangle, gain control of target creature with power 4 or less. Till end of turn, untap it against haste. Scour the desert, makes more tokens. Divination for a little more draw. Time wipe for removal. Uh, that's a revolt. Put three 1-1 one, one red human tokens onto the battlefield and then sacrifice those tokens at the end step. So, Brutoclad will change these tokens into whatever else and Brutoclad's on the board. Otherwise, this will just give us another way to trigger our commander here. Last card in the deck is Preordained. So, that is this deck profile, guys. If you like making tokens, this is definitely a deck for you. Check out the list in the top of the description box. Like always, I did not cover the lands. I just went over the creatures, artifacts, planeswalkers, enchantments, instant sorceries. So the lands will be in the description, in the link. The whole deck list is there. You can see the price, the cards, the different places you can buy them from. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up and click on the little bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. We've been doing two commander deck techs a week so we got tons and tons of deck techs up there is a playlist i will link it in the description box if you guys want to go check that out as well and i will see you guys in the next video